did not see it coming whatsoever. But White Rob being uh, a sneaky guy himself manages to drop a probe off at the top left. Get to base up and running there, but it's not going to be able to compete over here. And it looks like we are going to start seeing hydras being made, as well as the fact that there's a spire. Now, if we see an infestation pit, that may uh, actually end up being brood lords. But I think he's going to use it for corruptors more than anything else, as uh, that's going to be something that defends against Colossus really, really well. And uh, nice surround with a thousand zerglings against one zealot. Man, that guy didn't stand a chance. Um, that's going to go down really quickly, but no scouting information for the Protoss player. However, White Ra is getting dangerously close to critical mass with these Colossi as he's working on his fourth and probably shortly after that his fifth. Maynarding over some probes, uh, actually transporting them, I guess, with a warp prism. And it uh, looks like, oh, oh, beautiful, Crete being spawned over here. So it's very difficult for cannons to go down uh, from... A semi sees what's going on, but he's gonna have to back out as the first cannon comes up, and uh, yeah, not gonna be able to do much over there except for just get another base of his own to stay ahead. However, with the high yield, he's gonna be ahead anyway. Let's go check out the income to see that for sure. You can see that, yeah, Sem is ahead. Check out the army count ahead in that as well, and um, back to production, we can see that he's making a lot of corruptors and a lot of muta. So it's gonna be uh, exactly what he needs to make at this point uh, to really stay. Uh, ahead of, of the Colossus that we're seeing coming from White Ra, especially with four out on the field. As soon as he gets six, he's going to move out, almost guaranteed. That's going to be a dangerous force to try to tangle with, with just ground units, especially when you're heavy with Zerglings. A lot of his food count is tied up in Zerglings, but with the Corruptors out on the field now, we see three there, um, and he's making at least one more. You know, he's going to be able to uh, do a pretty good job of handling things. It looks like he's got five out on the field now, actually. So, yeah, he should be able to take down those uh, Colossus really quickly. And, oh, Warp Prism going all the way across to get a scout off. And uh, is he going to warp in some units? I don't know. But it looks like this Queen's going to be able to take down that Warp Prism if he uh, tries to do it. Roach is out on the field. Look like they're able to... Uh, reinforce anything might be coming here come the colossus and the rest of the force oh my goodness that's a lot of guys colossus are cool because when they're all out on the field they clump out and he uh by the way he does oh they changed the warp in uh that's cool i, I didn't even notice that they changed the warp in uh imagey and imagey <laughs> that's the word i was looking for animation all right there are the colossus but they are going to get uh whacked on by these corruptors real quick um, but he's if, if he can get off enough damage over here with the Colossus, I mean, it's going to be all worthwhile. Oh my goodness, the Zerglings are moving in. They're going for the surround, and he loses almost all of them. Corruptors out on the field, focusing down this Colossus, but they have a lot of hit points, and Assem is in trouble as White Ra is pushing in. Could this be the end of the best of the nine already? We are at five, four to one for White Ra. If he wins this match, this is going to be GG. Corruptors out on the field, they are focusing on these Colossi, but they are just not able to take them down before getting focused on themselves all of them are down this could be it guys he's got three bases and i gotta say uh white rob being very aggressive now that he's got this colossus a fifth colossus joining the fray and I, I just don't know if there's anything that a sem can do at this point to win this game and stay in the match past the game six this is a ridiculous force and gg coming from a sem so white raw has won it guys he is gone through everything to win $150 from GosuCoaching.com. Thank you, Havad Khan, for sponsoring that. And wow, what an epic set of games we just watched. White Raw winning a decisive 5-1 five to, five to one victory against the former pro StarCraft 1 gamer, Asem. Uh, but thanks to both these players for putting up a whole bunch of good games for us. Very nicely done. Uh, let's see if White Raw is still here. GG, White Raw. Uh, very well done to White Rye, I gotta say. He just won 150 bucks, and uh, he's gotta be feeling good. How do you feel after that match? We'll do an impromptu interview if he's still here.